As a black police officer during that time, how did you overcome the many challenges you would have faced? I overcame some of those challenges and I called them obstacles by having a close-knit family. Now, my mother and father were extremely supportive. Now, when I first wanted to be a police officer, they sat me down and they asked me all these different questions. Are you sure? Why would you want to do it? And when I gave them the answers, they said, I fully support you. And as I developed through the police, um, I grew to, to know a lot of people. Uh, I had friends outside the police service that supported me, but there were some others that didn't support me. So you had to choose the right kind of friendships that you had inside and outside the police. Did you feel accepted by the community? In the early days, yes and no, uh, which was quite difficult because some people would see a black officer in uniform and being a young person at the time, they would walk up and say, well done really good to see, and then they would walk off. And then some others would come back and they would just like kiss their teeth. Look by name, Judas, Trieta. Yeah. And that was hard because one minute you'd have one emotion and the next minute you'd have another emotion. And what I tried to do was that I always tried to be professional, always tried to show empathy as well as authority when I needed to raise the game. Like if I went to a call and somebody had been burgled, and there I saw all their things on the floor and stuff and they were very emotional. Then I would show empathy and, uh, around what was going on and reassure them that I was going to do the best job I possibly can to catch the baddies. Uh, and if they were white, black, brown, Chinese, whatever ethnic colors or ethnicities they were, I would give the same kind of response. But sometimes when you have a person who can relate to you, they, can, they feel a bit more reassured about that. No, I could possibly do a good job, and I did. During the New Cross March, did you ever feel overwhelmed? Yes, I was overwhelmed at the New Cross March. Um, that was another part of, a pinnacle part of my career because I'd only had seven months in the police service and then found myself at uh, Blackfriars Bridge at the march. I knew what the march was about because the 13 young black um, students, if you wish, died in the New Cross fire. And people were angry because of the investigations. But what I did not understand was the fact that when they, came, they, they marched and ran over the, the bridge, then I became the target. And uh, a few of my fellow officers were, were beaten up. And then I was seriously injured as well by uh, some of the protesters. It was a confusing time, a really confusing time when I got seriously injured because there I was supporting my own people and understanding what that element of violence was about and understanding where police were coming from because they were in fear. They didn't understand the black community. And whilst I laid in hospital, I questioned myself of whether or not I should actually stay in the police. Um, and what was really good is that my parents were fully behind me. And when I recovered, they gave me the option. They said, if you wish, to stay, we will support you. If you wish to leave, we will still support you. What do the uprisings mean to you? It was an important part of social enterprise and social committees, meaning that I knew that there were serious problems uh, in, in society against racism. Police community relations was right at the bottom of the, of the barrel. I knew that uh, in, institutional racism itself with police officers, um, was, was rife. I knew that there were black young men that were being targeted by the police, but that put me into a position because the fact is I was a police officer knowing what was going on, but also trying to enforce the law. And so the Brixton's uprising was an important part to send a message to society and to politics and to all those politicians in the government uh, to say, this is wrong. You can't do this anymore. Um, and so that was why it was important that these things happened. And I never judged anybody, but I understood why they happened. How do you feel the police force have transitioned over the years? That's another really good question. You guys are coming out with some seriously good questions. It has um, transformed itself. The police's response uh, to the uprising in Brixton at that time could have been much better. 
Uh, and I think they learned from their mistakes. Uh, however, there have been other riots since then. And what they should have done is speak to the community, is to reach out to different members of the communities, whether it be the leaders or whether it be the ordinary residents, to reassure them that the reasons why they were doing certain operational things in their community was for this, whether it would be for burglaries, thefts of motor vehicles, whether it would be for um, drugs, whatever the issue is to communicate with your, with your, um, your communities and have those partnerships so people can air their views and you can win their hearts and minds to say that they're doing the right thing. So say for instance, that you guys were out on the street and you were getting picked on by you know, other members, other school members or people standing on the street. You know, you'd want to know that you can call your mum and dad and they will let you know and say, right, okay, we'll call the police. And you're comfortable enough to call the police and speak to them and for the police to come down and believe you and not look at you as a suspect or a criminal. So it's about engagement, always talking to members of the community, whether it be they're young or whether or not they're more mature. Stephen Lawrence's murder was a pinnacle in the police services um, ability to understand the community and to deal with hate crime, race, racially motivated crimes as well. Um, because they didn't deal with Stephen Lawrence's death and investigation um, as they should, people like myself challenged the institution around racism and the lack of understanding in the community um, and other is uh, issues that evolved. Has the organization transformed itself? It has. You see more black and minority ethnic people and females in positions of authority, not as many as that we want them to be, and you see more of them walking on the streets in uniform. The understanding is though that there is a hell of a lot of work to be done to ensure that the people stay in the police. Some people join and they only stay for a short while because they uh, dislike the way that they've been treated, whether it be internally or externally by their own people. Mm -hmm.